Hello Bond fans! I hope you all had wonderful and lovely holidays uh, and had a, a fantastic year because 2022 is now in the bag and I really hope you are fortunate enough to be able to say that 2022 was an amazing and enjoyable and a fantastic year uh, because 2022 for me truly was a packed and eventful year uh, with so much stuff going on both for my private life but also uh, luckily for my YouTube channel where I was able to produce uh, over 40 videos this year um, so I would really like to take this video to be able to thank you guys for watching my videos uh, and look back at the YouTube year of 2022 for my channel but also look forward to 2023 and all that is to come for my channel. When I look back at 2022 I always will remember this year in terms of my YouTube as the year where I was able to take Dutch Bond fan to the next level and really change it up from a casual side hobby to a serious commitment and a serious side job next to my regular job as a teacher, so to speak. Um, and that I'm truly, truly proud but also grateful for. I was able to produce over 40 videos this year um, and I promised you guys somewhere around April or May that I would do my absolute best to do weekly videos this year. Uh, and I'm so happy that I was able to maintain that and not just you know throw that out there in May but be able to do that all the way to the end of the year and produce these 40 videos um, for you guys to enjoy. So there were a lot of projects this year um, and we started the year out continuing the movie reaction series that we started last year. Uh, with Diamonds of Forever this year and we managed to take that all the way to the A Few to a Kill movie reaction by the end of the year uh, with Never Say Never Again included but we also did three Indiana Jones movie reactions this year uh, which was a first time movie reaction for the both of us believe it or not so uh, those seem to have been um, really well watched this year as well so I'm glad we were able to change it up a little bit and delve away from not just watching Bond movies but also movies that are kind of relatable to the Bond universe so that is definitely something we want to continue in 2023 we won't just be doing Bond but we also might um, delve into Johnny English for example in 2023 uh, the Living Daylights is the one we're planning to do next, so I hope you guys look forward to that one in the next year. 2022 was also the year in which I started a new project called the Reading 007 series to go along with the Recapping and Ranking 007 series. Uh, and reviewing the books was always something on my mind, but I struggled for years to find a proper format to do it because I thought it wouldn't be appropriate if I would just stand in front of a camera and talk about these books. I don't think they would have picked up necessarily a lot of views had I done it in that way. So I tried to make it a very visually appealing um, and unique series uh, which I'm using all kinds of footage from video games and and all kinds of medias from movies to really bring these books to life and make it a unique format. Uh, I was able to produce the first four episodes this year and will definitely continue that series uh, in 2023. Uh, and I'm so happy you guys have been watching it. It hasn't received the amount of views I'm hoping for the series to get yet, uh, but everybody that did watch uh, gave me nothing but positive feedback on uh, how well produced this series was so uh, I'm proud of what I was able to do with the books and uh, From Russia With Love is the one I'm currently rereading and obviously the one that's gonna be up next year as well. Now doing weekly videos I also try to come up with all kinds of different Bond and related projects. Uh, obviously a lot of this was hit and miss uh, but I tried all sorts of new things this year. Uh, what if videos, 
uh, we also did uh, a video near Easter where I was like, all right, I want to do something for Easter. Um, tomorrow it's Easter. I don't have anything yet. I'll do so. Oh, I'll do Easter eggs in every Bond film. So I did the one Easter egg in every Bond film video, put it out there. And what do you know, it turned into the most popular video on my channel, reaching over half a million views in this year alone, which to me is so mind-blowing because, to be perfectly honest, you know, those Reading 007 series took me maybe triple or quadruple the more uh, planning and, and producing and writing uh, and, and visual editing. And this was something I honestly did quite quickly. And what do you know, it turned into a half a million views video. So that spawned a, a spontaneous series uh, of more uh, of these types of videos that also uh, all did really good. So this is definitely a series I'm planning to continue over 2023 with other subjects. Uh, so this is probably the most spontaneous series <laughs> that was born this year. Um, there were so much other little and small video projects I try to do. Um, definitely a lot of trial and error and just trying to challenge myself creatively to come up with all kinds of projects. Um, but you guys have been enjoying it and have been watching it, so thank you. Now another true highlight for me this year was visiting the UK finally for uh, a Bond event. Uh, and I was able to properly celebrate the 60 year anniversary this year, which to me was huge coming after a couple of serious COVID years where I had to cancel my uh, London trip last year. Uh, this year I was able to go there and, and thanks to Matthew Wood and Nick Fentiman of the Shake and Not Stirred Facebook group, uh, I was able to go to one of the biggest Bond events of my life. It was also the only Bond event of my life, but still, you know, the bar is pretty high. Also, I got to meet four of my Patreon supporters this year, three of which were German. Go figure, a Dutchman going, getting along with Germans, you know, what's the world coming to? Uh, and I actually uh, befriend uh, quite a few of them, um, which to me is also worth so much, you know, just especially during the Shake and Not Stirred event, uh, two of my Patreons were there and to be able to spend a whole weekend with them and have some beers and, and laughs and talk about not just Bond but about life and just be able to enjoy and now um, be able to say these become serious friends of mine and uh, will be people I'll be seeing more often in life is it, truly worth so much to me. So 2022 has been uh, given me a lot of friendships as well and not just you know video views and subscribers uh, it's not just about the numbers it's about this as well the bonding and I was able to to do that this year so I'm so fortunate and I can't wait for 2023 to experience that type of stuff more hopefully so um, I would like to say I hope all of you have a fantastic 2023. May all your goals be reached and uh, I would love to see more of you guys in real life. You never know how life goes. Thank you all from the bottom of my heart for sticking with Dutch Bond Fan and watching my videos and uh, I wish you guys a happy new year and see you guys in the next video.